Is there another character in the world that's known more than Santa? I don't think there is. The world has built this character. It wasn't built here in Michigan. It wasn't built in the United States. The world put this character together, this man that stands for all good things. You have to keep that sacred. People love us because we're Santa. They don't love us because I'm Tom Valant. They love Santa. They love that spirit. If you're going to be a jolly fat man, you might as well go all the way. Being a jolly fat man is what I do best. When I heard about the Charles Highwood Santa Claus School, and I, I had to be here. I figured out if I was going to be a Santa, I got, I got to go through the school. <laughs> I'm the dean of the Charles W. Howard Santa Claus School, the third dean. Being with another 110 guys who love the holiday, love the idea of being Santa Claus, you have to leave here not only a better Santa, a better person. Children have a sharper eye when it comes to Santa Claus, and you got to deliver what they're expecting, and you got to be perfect. We have to exercise these Santas. You know, they're a little portly, and they uh, eat a lot of cookies. Yeah, cookies are a staple. We have to keep up our image. You give Santa a chocolate chip cookie, even if there's kids in line, he'll take a cookie break. I uh, got started, like most of us, by accident, had the red suit on, and at the time I, I didn't have a beard and decided that I needed to grow a beard, and, and I can't think of anything I'd rather do than be sane. When my hair turned white, it's natural. Uh, when it all turned white, I said, I can't think of any better thing to do than be Santa Claus. We try and put products in their hands so they're doing it because we're not going to be there when they get home. We can tell they just, you know, they have to get used to doing that. Just practice. They'll get it. Then there's us. We call ourselves the skin chins, you know. We have to have the, the hair attached, both top and bottom. When you come in here and you see these guys with big, authentic, Santa-looking beards, you get jealous. <laughs> Each shift, I think there's one or two children that require sign language. It's amazing. We'll teach these Santas how to use sign language. It's a very important thing. You know, I can say Merry Christmas, you know, Santa loves you, and I, I can do the reindeer. I do very simple things. That's all you need. When you can communicate with a child that's not used to that, that's a wonderful thing. I have a grandma I go see at the old folks' home, and I cheer a lot of people up there. And you have somebody sitting there that's Pretty inactive, let's say, but you can tap that person on the shoulder and say Merry Christmas, and they'll look up, and you watch their eyes light up. They have those memories. Well, I'm from Texas, so I already knew how to drive, you know, horses. So I could drive reindeer just as well. Reins are the same. Since I knew all their names, I didn't have too much trouble. They, they respond pretty well when you call them by name. Sometimes when I pull out my air brakes, pull on the reins, and I'm going across windshield, it looks just like a shooting star. They need to understand that North Pole. They need to know what it takes to really make a toy. Or just know what it feels like, smells like, and how much fun it is to really make toys as gifts. When we're here, we try to do a little review and see what the hottest toys of the year are going to be and see what's new. So you're a little more familiar maybe with what the kids are going to be asking for. Yeah, you got to watch them. Riding around on a bicycle, I had to put a stop to that. They had a helmet on going up and down the aisle. Other than that, they're all good. <laughs> we become one of the richest people, not monetarily, but emotionally. I had a little girl on my lap, and I was a bad Santa. She's telling me a list. So I began to look down at her. She looked up at me, and I could see the power of belief that she had in me. And I reflect on myself, who am I? So I changed my DNA, which is December nice attitude, that this is a very serious business. 
Charlie Howard said this, and I believe it. Being Santa is not a job, it's a privilege. I am a better Santa on Saturday night than I was on Wednesday. I've got two grandchildren now, and they are just so much fun. And when I go over there in the Santa suit to take pictures with them, I don't know if they're going to remember it, but I'm going to remember it for the rest of my life. Yeah!